Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star Series, Life Young Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. Today is the DD, Ghana versus Cape Verde. And today we are going to start with the predicted win. Predict the correct scoreline between Ghana versus Cape Verde down below in the comment section and stand the chance of winning yourself 100 Ghana CDs. Very, very simple. Please comment the correct scoreline between Ghana and Cape Verde down below in the comment section and stand the chance of winning yourself 100 Ghana CDs. So please make sure to participate. In today's video, we are going to take a look at how to beat Cape Verde and also the possible starting lineup which Chris Hilton is going to use in the Black Stars first group stage game in the AFCON. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much and may God richly bless you. On the Black Star series, we give shout out. So guys, if your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Please continue to support Sports Corner GH. But if your name is not here, don't worry. Comment under this video and I'll make sure to bring up your name. In the next shout out list, we do live here on Sports Corner GH. So let's quickly, let's jump into it and talk about Ghana versus Cape Verde. That will be the first game the Black Stars are going to play in the AFCON 2023. And the time for this game is 8 p.m. Yes, 8 p.m. Now, in the last five games, the Black Stars have played against Cape Verde. The Black Stars have only considered one goal against Cape Verde. The Black Stars have considered only one goal against Cape Verde. Also, Andre, are you going to this AFCON to break a lot of records? So I'm looking forward to a lot of dynamics when it comes to the Black Stars playing in this AFCON. Now, let's jump into how to beat Cape Verde. And I'm going to talk about four things. I believe the Black Stars, Coach Chris Hughes, and also the technical team must do so that we can beat Cape Verde and take off with three points in our first game. The first thing would be the winning mentality. Winning mentality. We should go into this game knowing that we can win the game. We shouldn't go into this game with the mentality that we are going to drop. Or even if we get at least maybe first half performance good, second half if it's not good, we'll take it like that. No. We should go into today's game with the mentality that we are going to win it. The mentality that we are going to win it. And it should be incorporated into the mind of the players and also the coach that no, we are going to this game to win it. It is against Cape Verde. It is against Cape Verde. So we should go in and win it and give a statement to the other teams you are going to face in the AFCON. And if you are able to win resoundly, Definitely, it will send a message to other opponents that Ghana is not to joke with in this AFCON. And it's very, very important. So, with the first way of beating Cape Verde is that each and every player going to represent for Ghana in that starting 11 should have that winning mentality. Now, point number two, back passes. We have seen several times under Coach Chris in the Black Star players like giving back passes. It is only in Black Stars that when we play game, Goalkeeper and the four defenders have more touches than midfielders and also forwards. It's very crazy. We are playing against Cape Verde. Cape Verde will try to, you know, hold off the pressure and hit us on the counter. So we should be more offensive. This is a game where we have to be offensive. We don't have to allow, you know, the opponents come at us. When we do that, they will surely create chances. And then when they create chances, they will definitely punish us. So the back passes should be minimized. I'm not saying there shouldn't be back passes, but it should be minimized. We should be given more forward taking passes. We should be positive with our passes. It should be more offensive. You are playing against Kivet. If you are able to score very early in that game, we will rattle them and they will do a lot of mistakes. So this would be my second point on how to beat Kivet. No back passes or less back passes. Now the third point would have to do with changes. Coach Chris Hilton. Most of the times, when it comes into your second half and you bring in changes, it normally helps us. We hope that going into this game, you make the right changes. Do not make changes based on pressure. We pray that you use your own intelligence, your own experience to watch the game and then make changes based on how it would help the Black Stars. It is very important. So guys, going into this game, Coach Chris Hilton needs to take his changes very seriously because those changes could make or unmake us in the first game. It could be the deciding factor as to whether we get full three points or not in that game. So definitely, going into that game, our changes needs to do well. Now, the fourth point, we must not concede any. The reason why I'm bringing this up is that anytime we play first half, Black Stars, we do not play well. I don't know what it, it is. I don't know if it's a formation or a tactics we have to set. We send into games always. Anytime the Black Stars are playing in first half, we don't do well. We even allow the opponents create more chances in games, 
in their first half than we do. We only normally do well in the second half. This means that if we are going to play like that again, we should make sure we do not concede. We should make sure we do not concede first because when we concede first, we all know our problem, goal scoring. If we concede first, we'll be in deep, deep waters when it comes to this AFCON because there are no small teams in AFCON. There are no small teams in AFCON. If those small, small teams, those things that we underestimate, score you first, you are in deep trouble because they will defend and defend well. They will defend as if their lives depend on it. So guys, this is my four point on how to beat Cape Verde. Mentality is key. We need to have that winning mentality to be able to beat Cape Verde. Now moving away from how to beat uh, Cape Verde, let's talk about the possible lineup I believe Coach Chris Hutton will use in the game against Cape Verde. And this is based on my opinion. Let me know just down below in the comment section. In goal post, I'm going for Richard Pofori. I know Coach Chris Hutton has used him in the few games the Black Stars have played. And currently, we don't know who the number one choice goalkeeper is for the Black Stars. But I'll go with the current goalkeeper Coach Chris Hutton has been going with. And I'll go in for Richard Ofori. In, 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 in center back, the pair would be Alexander Jiku and Daniel Amate. I'm going with this pair once more because, one, they have played together for a long time. The relationship between them is very strong. The bond between them is very strong. They understand themselves. And Coach Chris Hutton used them in the pre afghan friendly we played against the media. So definitely, Amate and Jiku would be my center back pair for this particular game. At left back, I go in for Gideon Mensah. He played there in the previous game. I'm sure he's going to play there in today's game also. At right back, Dennis Odoi. Dennis Odoi. He played in the previous game. I'm sure he's going to play in the in the next uh, today's game. The Blasters are going to play. So with the four back, all the players that played in the game against Namibia, I believe they are going to play in this game. That was why Coach Chris Hutton chose those players for that particular game. Now, when it comes to the midfield, that is where our problem is because when it comes to combining players to play the midfield, we don't really have and definite or a stable set. We always change it. And Coach Mishutin going into this game would have to decide on whether to risk Mohamed Kudus or not to risk Mohamed Kudus in this game because we heard that he will be assessed before the game. Now, in midfield, this would be my combination. Salis Abdul Samed paired with uh, Majid Ashmiru paired with Elisha Kobushu. Now, that is in case Mohamed Kudus is not fit enough to play the game. But if Mohamed Kudus is fit enough to play this game, then my midfield combination would be Salis Abdul Samed, Majid Ashiberu, and then Mohamed Kudus. Salis Abdul Samed as the DM, Majid Ashiberu playing that number eight position, and then Mohamed Kudus playing that number 10 position. So de depending on what the assessment is at the end of the day, this would be my preferred midfield combination. Now at right wing, at right wing, I'll go in for Inaki Williams. At right wing, I'll go in for Inaki Williams. We all know how good he is when he's playing, you know, off the, the right wing. We know how good he is. So definitely, I'll go in for Inaki Williams. At left wing, I'll go in for Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu. He, he's, he's, he does well sometimes in the Blaster squad. And he's one of the key players when it comes to taking set pieces in the Blaster squad. So definitely, he will be a player that would begin in that game. But... You see, with Jordan Naidu, he's a utility player when it comes to the three positions up front. He can play any of those. So, it would be very easy for, like, interchanging positions. So, Jordan Naidu would be at the left wing for me. And center forward, I'll go in for Antoine Selom Semenyor. Antoine Selom Semenyor to start in this game. We need goals. We need goals in this game. First half, we should be able to rattle Cape Verde. They should, they should be confused and be like, ah, yes. So, my own prediction for this game would be 2-0. In favor of Ghana. 2 0 in favor of Ghana. Let me know yours down below in the comment section so that you can stand a chance of winning yourself 100 Ghana cities. Also, let me know your possible lineup. Your possible lineup Coach Chris Hutton could use in the game between Ghana and Kivet. Let me know yours down below in the comment section. It's very important that we win. It is Kivet. Looking at the players we have and what Kivet is have also having. I'm not estimating Kivet, but Kivet should be a team we should be afraid of. If once we have that mini men winning mentality, take one game at a time, we should be beating Cape Verde easily. But this is AFCON. Most African countries know how to defect. So definitely, my prediction would be 2-0 in favor of Ghana. Let me know just down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notification, comment under this video, and I'll make sure to see you after the game. Charlie, we go vibe.